So today's video, as you, could, as you saw in the title, it's all about how to prepare for your French Bulldog puppy. And realistically, it's for any French Bulldog. So um, yeah, let's just get right into it. I just realized I've never actually formally introduced myself to you guys. So that's my name. My name is Peter Cram. Um, that's my boy, Fuli, if you could see him right there. He's getting his pee on. Uh, today we came out for a little bit of a hike over here to Scarborough Bluffs in Scarborough, Ontario. But unfortunately, it looks like we're getting rained out. Um, I was trying to beat the rain before we actually got here. I tried filming this video yesterday, but it was raining. So uh, thank you everyone so much for tuning in and watching all the videos and commenting. I've been getting a lot of comments and I'm really curious where all of you guys are from. So. Um, drop me a comment down uh, down below and let me know what state um, you guys are in or if you guys are in the UK whereabouts I'm just really curious to see where um, all of you guys are tuning in from all right so the first thing that you want to do once you decide that you guys are gonna get a puppy and you guys put a deposit down on your dog is that you want to get all the information from the breeder and then you want to go set up an insurance policy for your dog. Now, if you guys haven't seen my video on whether or not you should get a pet insurance, I'll link it right up here for you guys so you guys can go check it out right after this video. And also, you want to set up your dog with a trusted vet in your area. Now, I always suggest people setting this up before they even get their puppy, um, just because you want to have it already in place and you want to have an appointment book for your dog um, before you actually bring it home. Usually breeders require you to have your dog go checked out by a vet within like the first, uh, you know, like 72 hours once you've taken them home. So it's always really good to just plan ahead and make sure that you have that in place. Oh yeah, I should mention, your doctor's probably gonna wanna get a poop sample. So when you do bring your dog home, Make sure you keep a little bit of poop in a bag and you take it to the doctor. Just give him a, you know, a, little, a little welcome gift. <laughs> All right, so don't forget to take your poop to the doctor. All right, this really sucks, but it looks like I might have to finish this video either at home or in my car because we're already starting to get rained out. Fully come. And yeah, point number two, get the essentials. You're gonna want to talk with the breeder see what kind of food they're on, try to match it up with that, decide whether you're gonna go kibble or raw. I think for French Bulldogs, raw is always the best way to go. If you guys haven't seen my video about raw food, I'll link it up here for you guys. And if you guys haven't seen the video on uh, what goes into Philly's Bowl, I'll also throw that right up here. But you wanna make sure you get the essentials? Essentials, essentials. <laughs> so you wanna get the essentials, you just want to make sure that you get all the essentials for your dog, you know, food, bed, bowls, leash. Um, hold off, guys, on getting, like, clothes for your dog, like PJs. Ooh, look at that bird. Uh, <laughs> that bird almost hit me. <laughs> uh, I lost train of thought. Oh, oh God, <laughs> it's, it's attacking me. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? You're supposed to protect me. <laughs> People don't go crazy on getting your dog uh, clothes because these dogs, they, they honestly grow like mushrooms. They're, 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 they're so quick. The size that you bring them home at eight or 12 weeks is not gonna be the same size they are at, I don't know, like 16 weeks. They grow really fast. So if you wanna bougie your dog out with like fine clothing, Louis Vuitton sweaters, I've done it. Um, <laughs> don't don't spend the money because um, they'll grow out of it really quick and then you're just gonna basically be using it to wipe down your counters after <laughs> so yeah make sure you get your essentials <laughs> are you back what do you want you just tried to attack me like two minutes ago personally I don't like harnesses I've tried it out on fully I've tried it out on other dogs and uh, harnesses just promote pulling every collar and every harness has serves a purpose and for training purposes I do not think that harnesses are appropriate for that and in the first um, you know a little while you want to be training your dog as soon as you get him home so anyways I'm going on a little bit of a rant right now so I'll leave that for another video just make sure you guys are getting the essentials get 
like dog appropriate shampoo. Do not use human grade shampoo. Their, um, their fur, their skin is not like ours. So, you know, your head and shoulders, your um, L'Oreal, your, I don't know what else you guys use. All right, so you wanna puppy proof your home. So that means you wanna lock off, block off any areas of the house that you don't want your puppy getting into or staircases, you don't want them going up or down. The first week that I had Fuli, he tried going up some stairs when I wasn't paying attention. He fell off like the fourth step. He banged his toe, there was blood involved. I started freaking out, but he lived to see another day. Let's go, buddy. Come on, pick it up, man. Pick up the pace. So you wanna make sure you get down on the floor, onto your, you know, the dog's height. See, see things from their perspective. Pick up any loose and foreign objects, hide cords, loose cords. They, they're gonna be teething. They're gonna be wanting to get into everything and chew on them. So you don't want them chewing on your iPhone cords or your extension cords or your TV or whatever, right? So um, you wanna get down on their level. Make sure that you do like an extreme, like, cleaning of your house um, get into every get into like every uh, corner of your house with the vacuum um, also plants some plants are very dangerous for French Bulldogs and I'll leave a list of them down below okay it's really it's starting to really come down so I'm gonna finish this point in the car see you in a minute Fully come All right, so this next point, um, if you guys are a young family and you have kids and you guys are deciding that you're gonna bring a dog home, I think it is very important for any family that has kids is to sit them down and explain to them that there's gonna be a dog in the house. Um, you wanna explain to them how to behave around the dog, um, how to approach the dog, and it's also just really um, getting them to understand that dogs have boundaries and they need to respect those boundaries. Um, so you could also explain to them that you need them to be on board with uh, training them. So this is going to be a lot easier for you um, and your wife or your partner or whatever um, when it comes to training because now it's not just two of you or one of you. It's you know, um, you know, it's a whole family. It's a it's a team effort. And um, I think it's just really important to have these conversations uh, with kids just so they understand. I think every kid should grow up with a dog, to be honest with you. I think there's a lot of benefits of growing up with a dog. There's certainly uh, many things that I've learned uh, from being a dog owner my whole life. Um, even as an adult, I still continue to learn a lot from Fuli. And um, I think it's just really nice when a, a, a child grows up with a dog, especially when you know they understand those boundaries and, and how to behave with a, a, a canine, right? So um, if there's going to be anything that you guys take away from this video, I really hope that it's going to be that because I do think it's really important to have that discussion with kids. I don't have children, but I can guarantee you if I did have kids, it would uh, be a discussion that I would be having with them. Um, so yeah, I need to get out of here because it's really starting to rain and I'm already getting wet. And yeah, that's it for this one. So we're back at home and I was really hoping that I could finish off this vlog before it started raining, but the weather didn't want it that way. So my second last tip to you guys is that before you guys bring your dog home, make sure you get some sleep, get a good night of rest because it's going to be the last one you're going to enjoy uh, for the next little while. Uh, puppies, they get up in the middle of the night, they need to let out, be let out to go to the washroom and they are super hyper in the middle of the night. They, all they want to do is play. So if I can make any suggestion to you guys, make sure you get your sleep. I used to wake up with Fuli for like 
maybe like three three months every night in the middle of the night to let him out and then he wanted to play it was crazy and but yeah you know what it doesn't last forever just make sure that you guys enjoy that last night of good sleep because you're gonna want to all right my last tip for you guys is that if it's possible with your schedule and your breeder's schedule to pick up your puppy on a Friday rather than a Saturday. The reason why is because it's gonna give you more time to develop a bond with your dog over the weekend. And also it's gonna give your dog an opportunity to settle in. You gotta remember this is its first time being away from its litter mates and um, you know, it's a new environment, everything's new to him. Um, you know, you just wanna make your dog feel very comfortable. If you work a nine to five, Make arrangements ahead of time um, for someone to walk your dog, feed your dog while you're at work. Uh, you don't want your dog to be in a crate or in a blocked off area for nine hours or eight hours for, for however long you're gonna be out of the house for. So make arrangements with you know a friend, a family member, and if you don't have that available to you, then you could always find a dog walker in your area or you can go to an app called Rover. Um, it's a dog walking um, service app. There, you can find dog walkers in your area. And what I would suggest is actually interviewing dog walkers before you actually, you know, just hand over your dog and get them to walk your dog or you let them into your house. Uh, interview them, check with uh, check for references. Um, and maybe even get them to walk your dog before you actually, you know, uh, you know, while you're away at work, uh, you know, test them out, see how the dog responds to them, how they are with your dog, if you feel comfortable with it. Me personally, I wouldn't just let anyone walk my dog off an app. Um, there are good dog walkers out there, but I definitely need to have a comfort level with the person that's going to be taking the responsibility of walking my dog um, with me not around. So that's my last tip for you guys. And that's it for today's video. If you guys liked... Uh... Oh, are you good? What was that? Huh? All right, guys, that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please give us a thumbs up. Uh, drop us a comment down below and uh, follow us on Instagram. All right, that's it for us. See you guys later. Bye.